shape for the water seems to be just the invitation So all the girls can say, please stand up, please stand up, please stand up Arms can shake, it's not the real shape Well, it's uh, it's uh, real Phil for me. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. As are all these people. I think great to have you here. Thank you for joining Thanks. us. Happy to be here. Okay, uh, now should I call you Eminem or Marshall or Slim? What do you like to be called? Eminem Slim Marshall. Eminem Slim Marshall. Look at my mind. <laughs> Yo, there you can call me. Wow. <laughs> we got the voice as well. Uh, hey, now where have you been? What have you been doing? It's been what? Has it been four years, five years since the last album, and now you've got yeah, the new one, Relapse, coming out? But it's been a long period. This was a deliberate uh, step away from things, I guess. Yeah, I just I wanted to pull back from the spotlight for a little while, you know. Um, just I guess kind of reassess my whole career. You know what I mean? I, I ended up in rehab in 2005, and um, you know, just kind of wanted to like, like I was trying to figure out where I was going. You know what I mean? Like where I was going in my personal life and career-wise and everything, like where I was, what I was going to do. So I kind of wanted to, I knew that I still wanted to, I knew I wanted to take a break from the spotlight, but at the same time I still wanted to do music, you know, because I'd go crazy if I didn't do music. You, and I guess you were still creating music, writing music in that period, even if you were releasing it. Yeah, I was, I, I was writing music too, but um, I don't know, I, I, I kind of took the producer's role even more so and, you know, stepped away from the mic, even though... I mean, I was, I was still writing, I was still making songs, but it just wasn't, I wasn't making anything that I felt like was good enough to put out at that time. You know what and I mean? so, and then, and then what happened? It just clicked again, or you just thought the time was right? Well, I got sober, for, first of all, yeah. you know what I mean? So I had to... <laughs> how, how tricky was that for you? Was that a difficult journey? Was that a tough thing to do? Uh, yeah, definitely. It was pretty rough. You know, um, there were a couple of years that were pretty, pretty bad for me. But, you know, I'm a little over a year sober now, so I'm... Well, congratulations. Happy to... Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm pretty good. Nice. Um, okay, I've got, I've been, I've been, I haven't got the new album yet, it's not quite out yet, I've been given a few tracks, I've been enjoying them very much, they're great fun, the, the single's terrific. Um, but I love, you know, I'm a big admirer of you, I think you're just such a talented writer. Um, uh, what was the song you did about performing that was in 8 Mile, um, Lose Yourself? Yeah. That's got some of the best lyrics, just such an incredible captures the kind of, the fear of performing and the need to perform and the desire to perform. I just thought that was a remarkable piece of work. If you weren't doing, uh, if you weren't writing rap, would you be, were you writing beforehand? Was it rap that got you into writing in the first place or were you already expressing yourself in that way? Nah, um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't actually like start right. It was definitely hip hop. You know, I didn't, um, I didn't pick up a pen and, and realize that I could write anything until, you know, rap got me into to doing that. You know what I mean? I heard. Um, Ice-T, Reckless was one of the first songs I ever heard. Once I heard um, Run DMC, LL Cool J, I was like, this is what I want to do. So this do. is the first wave of the big rappers, this is really, you know, the Run yeah. DMC, those guys. Did yeah. you like uh, Houdini and those guys as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, the Fat Boys, you remember the Fat Boys? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you can eat. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we should team up, we should do something, maybe release something together. That'd be hot. <laughs> Do you, um, let me ask something, and I'm sure people who rap get asked all the time, do you sing ever? Say you're at home and the mood takes you, because in your rapping, it's rapping, it's in kind of talking, yeah, if you're in the shower, a little bit of Frank Sinatra maybe? Yeah, a lot of Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah really? Yeah. You got yeah. a good voice? No, I mean, I, I sing on my records, I can't really, I'm not a singer. But it's not so singing, singing, is it? It's not like, oh, the summer breeze, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is officially singing, regardless of what you think. But you ever get tempted to cut loose on a record? I mean, I've done some things, you know, here and there, like as far as like singing, but you know, I'll tell the world I can't sing. That's not my, you know what I mean, what I feel like my forte is. But I, you know, some hooks, if you listen to them, there's Mel melodies in them. And, yeah, there's and, a melody. Well, the way you use the voice is melodic as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like as long as you can hold a, yeah, a key, you know yeah. what I mean, or, or a note or whatever, like. You can do it. Yeah, I guess. Okay. At least I try. Okay. Um, how was it when you were starting out? Because uh, I know when you, before you came along, there was only one rap, white rapper I was familiar with, and that was Vanilla Ice. Okay? He was great. He was eh, Mr. Amazing. Richard Von Winkle or something. No, believe it or not, believe it or not, I interviewed him years ago. And I quite liked him. He was a nice guy. However, he was kind of, it was a kind of a bit of a novelty act, really. Uh, you came along, and it's obviously it's the real thing. But did you encounter that kind of prejudice? Did you encounter that attitude early on? People saying he can't do it because he's a, he's a white guy, and this is essentially black urban music? I mean, yeah, early on I went through, like, quite a bit of that, but I mean, I, I think that at the end of the day, I guess if, if you, as long as you, if your heart is in it and you, you know, you just keep uh, 
persevering, you know, you, you're going to break through. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it was, it was certainly, it wasn't easy, you know what I mean? But I just, I, I kept at it, you know, I got booed off stage. It was, you know, many times, like, you know, as I did in the movie, like certain, you know. Yeah. How long did it take, do you think, before you got good enough uh, to think, okay, this is working now? How, how many times were you, did you have bad on-stage experiences? Um, maybe a couple. So not I'm that pretty many. pretty awesome. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, let me talk about your new single, because uh, you know what I love about your work, and I'm sure many people do, is, is there's a sense of humour in it. It's funny. A lot of the time, it's funny. Not always. Sometimes it's dark and, you know, other things, but sometimes it's very funny. The new single is very funny, and uh, you have a, a firm grasp of popular culture. You kind of, um, I think the word that young people use is diss. Uh, you diss some people in the new single. Some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, do you have any feedback? Do you ever meet those people? Do they ever contact you and let you know what they think about it? Or? Nah, I mean... Here's the thing. This is this is the kind of the, the way that I see it, in the way that I've always said it, it, is it's kind of like these aren't personal attacks on people. These, I, I've never met these people. You know what I mean? So these aren't like personal attacks on their character or anything like that. Um, you know, it's kind of like it, it, it's kind of like picking names out of a hat. And if your name rhymes with something good, or ha you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is bad luck. If you're, you know, a, 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 a pop figure, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. in, in this world. Like Marilyn Manson, who you do, and Jessica Simpson, and Sarah Palin, I guess. She's, uh, but you can see why. If you do Sarah Palin, people might think, oh, he wants to make a statement about Sarah Palin or American I politics. I do, I want to nail her, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got... If anyone's gonna, I think you've got a good chance. Yeah. Hey, you're looking in good shape. Uh, one of the rumours I heard that well, when you were away that you'd ballooned up, that you'd got really big. Did you put on a lot of weight? Did you yeah, get... I put on quite a few pounds. How, how chunky did you get? Um, I think I probably tipped the scales a little over 200. And was this just, this was just eating, overeating? It was eating, it was taking pills that I had no business taking, you know what I mean? Oh, Doing really? things that I just wasn't taking care of myself, I wasn't wow. taking care of my body. I kind of felt like, I mean, it was, you know, like there were times I wanted to just give it up you know what yeah. i mean there was I, you know i was in a pretty dark place to keep each other this now you must be uh working out a lot i guess and you're keeping you've got a fitness regime you stick to yeah i run a lot I, I run quite a bit i get up in the morning i run i i was running twice a day for a little while um and how far do you run when you say one it's a half an hour 10 minutes what is it um i was running i was i, I was there was one point where i was running like it was a little too much it was a little extreme and it was a total of 17 miles but you know what that is that's, so, that's you filling the gap you had in your life when you've given up the other stuff and it? it's kind of addictive behavior yeah it's like you kind of go from one addiction to the next yeah. and i'm an addict you know what i mean so i'm i guess it extremist like one extreme to the next